Let's download the latest Wacom driver. To do this, just go on www.wacom.com and in the upper menu bar, please click on support. And here, there's a blue button calling drivers and download. Click there. And then, just scroll down a little bit where you can see um, the driver section here and here click on the Windows driver, click on the blue download button again. Then one final click on confirm download and the driver will download in a couple of seconds. After we have successfully downloaded the latest Wacom driver, let's proceed with the installation. To do this, open the Windows File Explorer, click on downloads and have a double click on the Wacom tablet installer file. Okay, say yes because I have admin rights and now after a couple of seconds the driver will prompt with the license agreement which we happily accept by clicking on the blue button. And then the driver is installing in the background. It might take a couple of seconds um, or even about a minute depending on the required assets which are downloaded in the background. Okay, after the driver installation was successful to finalize the driver install, just click on the Restart Now button and your PC will restart and then the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27 is ready to work. Now we have restarted our PC with the Cintiq Pro 27 connected and the setup wizard will come up with this nice welcome screen here. And the setup wizard will guide us in a few steps showing the key features or the, the key new features you will get on your Cintiq Pro 27 and at the end will guide us into the registration process. So let's start by clicking on the start button. First of all it gives us an uh, impression of the express keys, where the express keys are located and uh, how to use them in an efficient way and what you can do with those express keys. Next one is um, showing a bit how to enable and or disable the multi-touch feature with the small switch on the back side. And last but not least, it reminds us to get our device registered on the Wacom pages and to get free access to the bundled software you will get with the Cintiq Pro 27 and also to get informed about future offers from Wacom. And now we are going to the registration process. Okay, now the Wacom sign-in page appears in the Wacom Center and you can either sign up for a new account on the Wacom page or in my case I will now log in with my existing one. Okay, what it does first, it automatically has registered the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27 with, with its serial number and I can now either go to device setting or I can go directly to the software settings.